All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Amen to you, you, and especially you. Mm. Where we go? Welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Amen. We're back on Thursday Word. Amen. Again, to try to give you words of encouragement away from the Lord. Amen. We're glad to see you all. We are here. We are here in living color. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. And we're asking you to chime on in. Amen. And as you come in, I want you to share. I want you to share with your family. And then when you come in, praise the Lord. Let me know that you're in so I can give you a shout out. Amen. I want you to share as you come in. Praise God. As you come in, I want you to share, share, share. Tag somebody. Let them know that we're on them today. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're coming to lift up the name of Jesus. <laughs> we come to give God glory on today because he's worthy. He's worthy all the pretty good afternoon. Great woman of God. How are you today? Glad to see you on the line. Praise God. I want you to share, Co-Pastor, if you don't mind, share. Tag somebody. Let them know that we're on. On today. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. Amen. Glad to see you in the house on today. Amen. This is the day. Through the rain and the thunderstorms and the wind and everything, we, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Praise the Lord. We just thank God, hallelujah, for another day that he allowed us to see. No goodness of our own, but his grace and mercy. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God for just being six feet above and not six feet beneath. Ah, glory to God. Nobody but God. That's enough to give God a yet praise for right there. That's enough right there to tell God, thank you, because he is merciful. He's kind. Amen. He's been so good to us, and we owe God a praise. We owe him a thank you, Jesus. We owe him a hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Good afternoon, prophet. Amen. How you doing? Praise God. I want you to share, uh, Prophet Smith. Amen. Glory to God. Share and tag somebody. Let them know that we're on Thursday Live, Thursday Word. Amen. We're here, as I said earlier, we're here in living color. <laughs> Amen. To, to do what thus saith the Lord. This is a new day. We'll never see this day again, not in 2022. Amen. We won't see December 22nd again in 2022, ever. Amen. So since we're here, we might as well give God a yet praise. We might as well give him a thank you, Jesus. Amen. We we enter into we into that season. We're not entering into that season. We already in that season. Because we know Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Co Pastor, for sharing. Amen. Praise God. We are in that season. Amen. Well, we giving God a yet praise. We thanking him. Hallelujah. We're giving him the glory. Hi, we we want to stay encouraged. We want to see a whole our head up high, no matter what's going on around us, what's going on in our home, what's going on on the job, what's going on in the land, what's going on among the people. We want to give God a yet praise. We want to just give Him a thank you, Jesus, anyhow. Amen. We just want to learn how to praise Him right in the middle of the situation, circumstances, and conditions. Amen. We bless the Lord on today. We're going to go into the Word of God. We're going, amen. We're going to St. John 
14th chapter. Praise God. Hallelujah. St. John, the 14th chapter. Praise God. And then we're going to go to Second Chronicles. Amen. Praise God. You know how you had little notes around and that even disappeared and stuff. Well, we just <laughs> thank God for it. Praise God. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. We're not complaining. But, Lord, we just want to say thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for how you woke us up early this morning, closed in our right mind, Lord, with the activities of our limbs. And, Father, we just want to say thank you. You're such a mighty good God. You're awesome, God. You're merciful. You're loving. You're kind. You're all seeing, God. You're sitting high. You're looking down low. And, Lord, you see and you know everything. And, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Lord, we give you praise on today. We ask you to search our hearts. And if you find anything that's not like you, we ask you to strip us up. We ask you to move it, oh God. Anything that's in common with the enemy that's contrary to the word of God, we ask you to strip it because we just want to be right. We want to be clean. We want to be made whole. God, search our hearts. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you right now, God, to have your way. Open up our ears that we can hear what the Spirit had to say to the church. Open up our hearts to receive and our minds to comprehend. And, Lord, we give you praise for it right now. God, send who you will have to be on this line, oh God. Whoever this word is for on today, Lord, we ask you to allow them to come on this line and hear what thus said the Lord, that they may be encouraged in a time like this. And, Lord, we thank you, God. We give you praise. God, I pray for the sick and shut in, the prison bound, oh God, the backslider, oh God, whoever. God, with your mercy, God, your mercy, God, we need your mercy. We need your grace, oh God. We pray for leadership in the mighty name of Jesus, from the White House to our house to the church house. God, we pray for leadership that they will seek your face for directions, how to lead your people. You let us know in the word, God, first acknowledge you in all our ways and you will direct our path. Lord, stir up, God, stir up the body of Christ as a whole. That they will run, run and get all they can get out of you. Get stronger in you, Lord. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you right now, God. We bind the hands of the enemy. Any agenda that he has, we plead the very blood of Jesus against it. We do know that the blood still works. And we give you praise for it right now. In the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hey, Apostle Pastor Darden. Now I'll keep calling you Apostle. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Amen. Praise God. We bless God on today. God is yet good. Hallelujah. How many of you know today that we're living in a time people are throwing in the towel? They're getting tired. They're going through one test or the other. Once they go through one thing, here comes something else. Once they think they feel like they got the victory over this, here comes the enemy with something else. But how many of you know the Lord let us know the battle don't belong to us, but the battle belongs to God. Trust God. Don't worry. Be happy. Hallelujah. If you see my title, it says, don't worry. Trust God. Be happy. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to trust God. Good afternoon, Ms. Sexton. Amen. I pray, God, that uh, something that be said today to encourage your heart. Amen. Let's go into the Word of God. We're going to 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter. Amen. 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter. I read from a living Bible. 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter. And I'm going to begin at the 15th verse. 2 Chronicles, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. And it says, and he said, listen, listen. See, that's the problem with the people of God now. They don't want to listen. And he said, listen, all you of Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem and you King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid or dismayed because of this great multitude for the battle is not yours, but God. How many of y'all got a but God in your life? No matter what's going on, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the, the, the circumstance is, you got a but God. Don't know why I'm going, to, but God. He told them, he said, listen, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or dismayed because of this multitude for the battle is not yours, but God. Tomorrow, go down against them. They will surely come up. By the accent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not need, 
Listen, y'all. He told me, he said, listen, you will not need to fight in this battle. You ain't got no right to fight. You don't need to fight. Amen. He said, position yourself. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Ah, my God from Zion. Glory be to God. Trust God, y'all. Don't worry. Be happy. John 14 said, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Hallelujah. If you believe God, Jesus said, believe also in me. And we, we heard this story. We read these things and amen. God just wants to know, don't worry. Be happy. I got this. All I need you to do is to trust me. Jehoshaphat was going through some things. I mean, we go through some tests. We go through some storms. Amen. And yes, sometimes we might get nervous in the battle, but he said, don't worry about it. I got you. Praise God. You got to know that God has got your back. He got your side. He got your front. He got you all around. Amen. We got to trust God. We got to know that God is going to see us through it. And going in the word of God, he said, listen, he, the Lord said to me, he said, listen. And the part is that, you know what? The thing is the problem with the people of God. We don't want to listen. We want to always do the talking. We always want to be running off at the mouth. Amen. We always want to have diarrhea at the mouth. He said, but I need you to listen to me. Listen, I know you're going through some stuff. I know you're going through some tests. I know you're going through some trials. Leaders, I know you're going through with the members. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I know the enemy is coming in like a flood. He said, but I need you to listen to what I'm saying. I'm not going to, he said, I promise you that I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll be with you always. i never leave I got you. I'm right by your side. We got to trust God. Praise God. You can't put trust in man because man will fail you every time, but that's what he does. But we got to trust God. Amen. He said, listen, don't you worry about this. He told your husband, listen, amen. I see what they're doing. I see how they're ganging up on you. And he's looking at us today. I see what they're doing. I see how they're ganging up on you. I see how they're trying to tear you down. I see how they're trying to destroy you. He said, but listen. Oh, glory be to God. He said, listen. All of you are Judah and you inhabit the Jerusalem. And you king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord to you. I'm saying to you today, the Lord is telling us on today, do not be afraid. High glory be to God. Do not be afraid, nor dismay of this great multitude, of all these things that you're going through, of all this stuff that's going on in the land. Amen. Praise God. We got to trust God. He told us these things were going to come. He told us that the test was going to come. He told us that the trial was going to come. He said, don't get all shaky in your boots. I got you. Praise God. Don't you get nervous. This battle is not yours. You trust me. Praise God. Don't just trust me with your lips. Trust me with your heart. Either you believe me or you don't believe me. Trust me. Don't worry. Be happy. Because I got you. I got you. I got you covered. I'm with you in the storm. I'm with you in the rain. When the enemy comes like a flood, I'm with you. Huh. Praise God. I'm with you in your sickness. I'm with you even when the family and the people are turning their back on. I'm with you. Praise God. People are giving up on God. They're going back. They're going through the storm. The, the pastors are committing suicide. All this stuff is going on. But people, let me tell you, trust God. We got to trust God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is not going to let you go down if you keep a trust in him. Praise God. The songwriter Peter said, if you lean on him, he won't let you fall. We got to trust him and know that he's going to bring us through the storm. We got to trust him. Amen. Not just from your lip, but from the bottom of your heart. From the depths of your soul, you got to trust God. Hallelujah. Don't know what you're going to do. Don't know how you're going to make ends meet, but God, I thank you. Ha, huh. David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. Hallelujah. Glory be God. He said, trust me. Praise God. I don't know how I'm going to pay the bill. God said, I got you. Trust me. This ain't your battle. That battle belongs to me. Either you believe me or you don't believe me. If you trust me or you don't trust me, hold your peace. I'll fight your battle. Stand still and let God fight your battle. Praise God. This is why we try to fight up all battle. He tells us that they stand still. He said, I got you. He told Jehovah, he said, listen, let me tell you. Listen to me. 
open up your spiritual ears, not your natural ears, but open up your open up your spiritual ears and see what I'm telling you on today. He said, "Listen, don't you worry about this. Yes, the the, the, the enemy is trying to gang up against you. Yes, pastor, they trying to tear you down. Yes, they tried to destroy you, but trust God." He said, great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. You got to know what you got on the inside. You got to know who you are and who you are. Hallelujah. You got to stand on that word in a time like this. We're living in a critical time. Praise God. People are giving up on God. There's no time to give. It's time to run and get all you can get from God. We need more strength. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. He said, listen, listen, tomorrow, go down against them. He said, you do what I tell you to do. He said, listen, if God tell you to do it, just do it. If he tell you to go in the enemy camp, do it. If he tell you to stand, amen, in the midst of the war, stand because he got you. Praise God. Whatever he tell you to do, just do it. Amen. Because he's not going to let you fall. He's not going to let you be defeated. Praise God. You're going to come out on the winning side. Praise God. This is what happened with Jehoshaphat. Praise God. Glory to God. He listened. He listened to him at that time. Praise God. We got to learn how to open up our spiritual ears and hear what thus saith the Lord. We got to learn how to say, God, I give you glory. I trust you, God. Praise God. We tell everybody else, you need to trust God. You need to depend on God. And we can't trust God ourselves. Praise God. Hallelujah. We need to learn how to trust God. And believe him at his word. If he said it, he'll do it. If he spoke it, he'll bring it to pass. <clears throat> Amen. But we got to trust God. How many of y'all know we got to trust God? We got to de depend on him. We got to lean on him. He ain't going to let us fall. He's not going to let us go down. He's going to do what he said he's going to do. He's going to keep us covered. He said, my angel and kept all around about you. Amen. I don't care where you go, no matter what you do. He said, I got you covered. Praise God. He told Jehoshaphat, he said, listen, praise God, tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come up by the accent of Ziz, and you will find them at in the, the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. But you will not. He told them, he said, Jehoshaphat, you will not need to fight in this battle. Praise God. Wherever he tell you to go, just go. Whatever he tell you to do, just do it. Praise God. He said, the battle don't belong to you. He said, you go. He said, you ain't got to fight this battle. I got this right here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because you are my daughter. You are my son. Hallelujah. You are my child. You are my preacher. You are my prophet. You are my, you are, you, my daughter. You belong to me. And I'm not going to let the enemy de de defeat you long as you trust me. Long as you lean and depend on me. Glory be to God. He said stand. He said you ain't got to fight this battle. The battle belongs to me. Praise God. One scripture, he said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You ain't got to fight that battle. Amen. Don't give up. There's no time to give up on God. I don't care what is happening. What's going on in your life? We see so much lately, the people committing suicide and all this stuff. Look, we got to trust God. Praise God. We got to trust God. Not only people in the world doing that, we got people in the body of Christ. Can't take a lot of things and they commit suicide. Trust God. He didn't bring you that far to leave you then. He said, I brought you through it. I brought you through the, uh, the river. I brought you through the rain. I brought you through the tents. I brought you through the storm. What makes you think I can't bring you through this? Well, you didn't have anything. I brought you through that. What makes you think I can't bring you through this? Trust me. Don't worry. Be happy. Be happy in the Lord. Know that God is on your side. Know that God is fighting your battle. Let them say what they want to say. Let them do what they want to do. Smile. Hold your head up high. As the songwriter say, it says hallelujah anyhow. Amen. Praise God. Because we're going to stand at the end of the day. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. Don't worry. Be happy. He told him over. Jesus told him over. And John, he said, look, don't we worry about this. Let not your heart be troubled. Why are you troubled? Praise God. Praise God. He, and and he, even in Chronicles, he was telling them, what you're fearing for? What is the, what's the fear? Fear is of the enemy. Fear is false evidence of prayer and real. We got to stand on, on the word. We got to trust God. We got to believe God. Trust God. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry about the battle. So he said, don't even try to fight the battle because the battle belongs to me. Let me fight this. Your arms ain't long enough to fight it. You're not strong enough to fight it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pray God. Somebody tell God, thank you. Glory be to God. Somebody tell God, thank you. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody tell God, thank you. He said, I want to fight your battle. I just want you to do what I tell you to do. Praise God. I just want you to be submissive and obedient to my voice. I want you to just go where I tell you to go. I want you to say what I tell you to say. Don't be afraid to do what God called you to do. Don't be afraid to tell the people what thus saith the Lord. They, either they like you or they don't like you. Praise God. You tell the truth, they're going to like you. Tell the lie, they ain't going to like you. So what, what's the difference? You got to obey God. Don't wait till the battle is over. You better shout now. Praise God. Don't try to fight your own battle. He said the battle belongs to me. He told Jehoshaphat, don't try to fight this battle. He said this battle belongs to me. You stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. People, God, I want you to understand if we learn how to stand still and give these things to God, turn it over to Jesus. Y'all know we used to sing that song. Turn it over to Jesus. He'll work everything out all right. Praise God. And when you turn it over, leave it there. Amen. I think that's the problem. We turn it over to him, but we won't leave it there. But we got to trust God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Don't fight your own battle. Praise God. People are stressing during this Christmas season. Praise God. I ain't got the money to buy this. It ain't your birthday. Give God a yet praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's not about the Christmas trees and the life. It's about Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's about celebrating his birth. Praise God. He came down from glory just because he loved you. Amen. He went through these things just because he loved you. Amen. And even after being, he want to fight your battle. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even in this, this Christmas season, don't worry. Be happy. Give God a yet praise even in the midst of everything. Even in the midst of the celebration of everything. Praise God. Give God a thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you just for being here. Thank you, Lord, just for how you love me. She cut up my house. Thank you, God, for just standing right there, God. Thank you for fighting my battle. Thank you for lifting the weight off my shoulder. Thank you for lifting the heavy burden. Praise God. Hallelujah. Shake it off and pack it up under your feet. Dr. Noble says, hey, shake it off. Pack it under your feet. Amen. You're carrying these things and it ain't changing nothing. We better trust God. Stop trying to fight your battle. You've been praying for that child forever and ever. See, like the more you pray, the worse they get. Don't stop praying. Keep praying because somebody pray for you. Had you on their mind, sacrificed their time, and they prayed for you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't worry about this. Don't. Hallelujah. He said, trust me. Ha, Jehoshaphat, trust me. Glory to God. I got your battle. I got this for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody praying for that spouse. Somebody praying for their siblings. Amen. Praise God. See that? The more you pray for them. Amen. The minute they get, keep on praying. Hallelujah. Keep on living holy. Amen. Praise God. You're going to draw. He said, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. So you got to stand on the word of God. You got to walk the word of God. You got to talk the word of God. You got to live the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't try to fight your own battle. Praise God. Hallelujah. They're going to cuss you out. God, it ain't my battle. That's your battle, God. You deal with it. Praise God. Help me to still be nice. Help me still know how to treat them. Praise God. You give me what I need to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, they're going to roll their eyes at you. It's okay. Glory to God. They roll their eyes at Jesus. And he didn't bother so. He just came down here. Amen. And we might be saved. <laughs> and they still criticize him. Pray, don't you worry about it. Don't try to fight your battle. That battle don't belong to you. What is your battle today? What are you going through and it seems like you can't seem to come out of it? Seem like you're getting deeper and deeper. Amen. And you're praying. It seems like you're not coming out. Staying on the wall. Don't take down. Amen. He said, I see what you're going through. I'm sitting high and I'm looking down low. And I see and I know everything that you're going through. I got an all seeing eye. And I see and know what you're going through. I see the persecution that you're going through. I see the hurt that you're going through. He said, don't you worry about it. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Huh? Do you really trust me? Praise God. Yes, we sang the song, I will trust in the Lord until I die. Are you going to trust him? Do you really trust him? I'm going to stay on the battlefield. Are you really going to stay on the battlefield? Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. Are we going to trust him? He would tell Jehoshaphat, the battle don't belong to you. This is why people are stressing out. This is why you people are dying early. Hallelujah. Amen. They put a whole lot of stuff on their heart. Amen. Praise God. Instead of giving. That's all you can do. Because people are going to be people. 
until they get themselves together, until they get that mentality, God, I want to do right. I want to do better. They're going to be like that, and you're going to sit there and worry yourself to death. Uh-uh. God, is in your hands, oh God. You deal with it, oh God. I trust you, God. I thank you for what you're going to do. I thank you for saving my daughter. I thank you for saving my son. I thank you for saving my grandchildren. I got some saved grandchildren. They may be mean as a hood of your around that, but you speak that thing into existence. Amen, because there's power, life, or death in the tongue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank God. God, I thank you that they're delivered. I thank you, God, that, that, that the drugs, they're not even going to want the drugs anymore. They're not going to want the alcohol anymore. I thank you, God, that you're going to give them a new taste. Oh, God. Praise God. That battle belongs to you, God. I'm giving you praise right in the middle of it. Right in the middle of everything that's going on. God, I'm giving you yet praise. I'm giving you a thank you, Jesus. Because I know that you're going to work it out. I'm trying to figure it out, but you already got it worked out. And in the process of you working out, I'm going to sit back and say, God, I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for moving on my behalf, God. I thank you for fighting the battle. Praise God. Look at the situation say, this is not my battle, Lord. This battle belongs to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's too much for me. I can't fight it. God, I give this battle up to you. I give this to you, oh God. I give this weight to you, oh God. Shake this mess out. Shake that monkey, that dead man off your back. Praise God. You don't have the praise and the joy you used to have because of the problems and situations and circumstances. Shake it off. Give that mess to the Lord. Give it to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. He'll work it out. Trust God. Don't worry. Just be happy. Worrying is sin, y'all. Praise God, holly. It ain't no sin going into the kingdom. Either you trust God or you're going to worry. Somebody said, if you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, then don't pray. Praise God. But he told Jehoshaphat, the battle don't belong to you. He said, the battle don't belong to you. He said, the battle belongs to me. Praise God. What battle are you dealing with? What are you going to search your mind? Search your situation. Search your surroundings. Yes, things may not be going right in the church like you think they be. Give it to God. It ain't your battle. Praise God. The pastor might not do it like you think. Yeah, let him give it to God. Praise God in high. Go on about you. Let God do God. Pray. Let God deal with that leader. Ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let God deal with that mother. Jump back and let God do it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The battle doesn't belong to you. I just want to encourage you on today. I just want you to hold your head up high and say it's hallelujah. Anyhow, Lord, you know what? I thank you. I thank you, God. I'm going to give this thing to you. I've been carrying it longer. I'm going to give this thing up to you. Glory to God. And when I give it to you, I ain't even want to think. I'm not going to think about it no more. And then when the enemy try to bring it back to me, say, so, uh-uh, that ain't my problem. That belongs to the Lord. Praise God. Position yourself. Stand still. Don't be in the way. Don't get in the way. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Back yourself. You get out the way and let God do God. And watch God work. Watch God move. Amen. The Bible says he'll make your enemy your footstool. Amen. Stand still. Get back out. Get out the way. Position yourself. Get out of the way. Stand still. Watch God. Watch God move. And then and every time it, the problem will come up, something come up. Tell, God, I thank you. Ah, uh -huh. God, you're going to work this thing out some kind of way. I don't know why. I don't know how. But God, I give you. I, I trust you just that much. I ain't got no better sense than the trust that you're going to move. Praise God. I don't care what the situation is, what the condition is. Trust God. God is a way maker. God is a bread and berry. He is a heavy load carrier. We got to trust God, especially now. Now, everything is going sky high. The groceries are high. The eggs are high. The meat is high. The food is high. Trust God. But David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging for it. God will make provision for the vision. He'll make ways out of no ways. It will seem like no way can be made. Trust God. Praise God. Don't sit and worry about, I ain't got this here. I can't buy that right there. I can't buy this here. I can't get this in front of Christmas. I can't buy this for Christmas. Trust God. Just be able to, God, I give you glory. Holly, I just praise your way into it. Pray and praise his move, God. And I think down in the scripture, you talked about how they begin to praise him. He said, uh, O Jude and Jerusalem, do not fear and do not be dismayed. He told, Don't you fear, don't you, don't you get shaky? Praise God. Well, we're getting ready to foreclose. Don't worry about it. 
Glory be to God. I tell God, tell God thank you. Praise God. God, I give you glory because this battle don't belong to me. It belongs to you. God, I honor you. I worship you in the beauty of holiness. God, I just love you so much. I thank you for what you're getting ready to do. I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just want to say thank you, God. I don't want to complain, but I just want to tell you thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just want to give you glory because this battle I, I, I couldn't deal with, but God, you stepped in. And came to see about me. How many of y'all know he'll come to your rescue? If you call on the Lord, he will come to your rescue. Stop trying to fight your own battle. This is why a lot of pastors, a lot of leaders are stressing out. They're trying to fight their own battle. Dealing with these, these hard head people. Some of them won't listen. Some of them will. Some trying to tear up. Some trying to tear down. Trust God. Let go and let God. Let God deal with it. You live right. You preach the word. You teach and do whatever. Love on them. But let God fight that battle. Praise God, because he knows He knows how to do it. He knows how to work it out. While we're trying to figure it out, he already got it worked out. Amen. He says, stand still, position yourself. Get yourself in the position where you're going to see that the hand of God move in a mighty way. You got to trust him. You got to trust him. He says, amen. He says, tomorrow, go out against them for the Lord is with you. See, he said, go ahead out. Go out against them. Cause I got you. Hallelujah. You still, and people are scared to move because of, they might say, the, uh, uh, no fear is of the enemy. If God said, do it, just do it. He said, I'm with you. You ain't got to worry about it. I'm with you. Praise God. They like look at you crazy, but I'm with, they can't touch you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. They can't touch you. Glory be to God. Cause I'm, I'm with you. We got the great. I am on the inside. We got to trust God and know that God is going to bring us through these things. Praise God. Glory to God. Because we're living in a critical time. I'm telling you. We're living in a critical time. We're living in a time. If we ever trusted God, the time is now. If there ever been a time when you need to let go and let God, the time is now. Huh? Is there ever been a time you got to believe God for, from A to Z? The time is now. Man will let you down, but God would never fail. Jesus never failed. He said, though, the song said, though heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus would never fail. He would never fail us. He would not allow us. As long as we keep our trust and our faith in him and hold on to God, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. This is what he was telling the, the disciples. He said, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also because in my father's house is many mansions. He said, there's many mansions in my father's house. He said, he said, I go. If it were not so, he said, if I would not have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. But we got to trust God that we can make it there. We got to believe God. We got to stand on his word. Hallelujah. I want the I want whatever God what God's having for me, what God's got for me. I want my mansion that He's prepared for me. Praise God. We gotta trust God. We gotta say, God, you know what? This is it. The book stops here. I'm not gonna try to fight this. I'm not gonna try to, to work this thing out. Jesus is working it out. Jesus can work it out. Hallelujah. So we gotta trust God. We got to do like he told, he told Jehoshaphat, don't try to fight your battle. He said, I got you. He said, go, go, go ahead and do what you got to do. You go ahead and I'm telling you people of God today, obey God. No matter what come or what go, you obey God. He said, I'm going to be with you. Whatever I tell you to do, wherever I tell you to go, whatever I tell you to say, just do it. I got you. I'm right there with you. Whatever the test, whatever trial, we all going through some things. Praise God, we're all going through, but then I want to give you the nugget. Yes, we're going through, but guess what? The key word is through, because if you're going through, you got to go. If you go in, you got to come out the other end. Glory be to God. Let, we, got, we got to go through. We got to go through to get to the destiny. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got to go in in order to come out. We got to go in. If we want to get closer to the Lord, we got to go in that we can come out on top. Glory be to God. You go in a tunnel. Amen. I think it's out at Chesapeake Bay. There's a tunnel. Praise God. Once you go up in there, Lord, you'll never come out. But I tell you, if you stay right there, 
in that tunnel and keep moving. Don't stop. Don't blow horns. Don't make a bunch of noise. Don't complain even in the midst of your tunnel. Glory to God. Stay in the right lane. Stay right there with God. Trust God. Know he's going to bring you out of that tunnel. Know he's going to bring you out of that test. Know he's going to bring you out of that storm. Know he's going to bring you out of that heartache. Know he's going to bring you out of that headache. You're going to come out on the other side. And when you come out on the other side, you're going to say, my God, my soul looked back and wonder how I got over. I know it had to be nobody but God that brought me through this. He brought me through this, and he bring me through that. And guess what? I'm grateful. Hallelujah. How many of y'all are grateful on today? He, you know where he can do. You know that he can bring you out. You know that he can take you through the storm. You know he'll bring you through the storm. Trust God. Don't worry. Be happy. Amen. Because guess what? We're getting ready to get out of here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. While you sitting there worrying about this happening, that happening, Jesus might come. You don't want to be <laughs> back here. Glory be to God. But we got to stand. Trust God. Trust God. Hallelujah. Put your trust in the Lord. He knows all about it. Praise God. You know, in the old days, years ago, you used to sing this song, Nobody Knows the Trouble I, I See. Nobody but Jesus. A lot of things you go through, you don't tell nobody. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You just take it to the Lord. Praise God. And then you turn and pray about the same thing over and over again. You take it to the Lord. You trust, you got to trust God that God is going to bring you through it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is the Christmas season. Praise God. We are in a time. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. There's so much going on. There's so much death in the land. There's so much. Many so have lost so many loved ones. Praise God. That was here last. Don't you dare let the enemy beat your head with it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't you dare let the enemy tell your head. Well, so and so ain't here. Yeah, yeah, but I thank God that God got him out of this mess so he wouldn't have to be in this life. She wouldn't have to be in this mess. Hallelujah. But I, I, yes, I miss him, but God, I thank you. For what you're doing, God. I thank you for what you're going to do, God. I thank you, Lord, that you got him out of this mess. Got him out of this turmoil in the land. God, I give you yet praise because I'm living to live again. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We got to trust God. We got to lean and depend on God. Hallelujah. We got to take him at his word. He told Jehoshaphat, don't worry. You just stand still. Position yourself. He said, the word said, and Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed down before God. You know, sometimes we got we to gotta humble ourselves. And that's a lot of the problem with the body of Christ. They don't want to humble themselves. They want to be high and mighty. Bring your little happy self down. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> we got to learn how to humble ourselves. Amen. Praise God. He said, they bowed down before the Lord and worship him. As he began to tell them, don't you worry about anything. They began to bow down. They began to humble themselves and worship God and begin to thank you, Lord. God, I love you. God, I praise you. I worship you. I adore you, God. They humble themselves. They bow down. Hallelujah. And that one does, they didn't, some of them didn't lay prostrate before the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we just need to lay prostrate before the Lord. God, I just want to thank you. I'm not asking you for anything because I just want to worship. I just want to give you praise for what you're doing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Prayer and praises move God. You want God to move, begin to pray and pray. Praise. Hallelujah. He began to tell me, he said, they bowed down and began to worship the Lord. Then the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and the children of the, Ko the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord of Israel with voices loud and high. It's time to get loud. It's time to get loud for the Lord. Praise God. It's time out for the little teeny weeny voice. It's time to get loud. Hallelujah. Blow it. Blow it like a trumpet. Sound like a trumpet. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise. God. Lift up the name of Jesus. Give God a yet praise. Give God a thank you, Jesus. Give him a hallelujah because he's worthy. No matter what you're going through, saints of God, what you're dealing with right now, God's got you. He's got your back. He's got you covered. Praise God. Hallelujah. Leadership. God's got your back. He's got you covered. Those disobedient members, those that don't want to listen, those that want to kick against you, it's okay. Let, let go ahead. God's got, God, don't try to fight. Let God deal with it. Still treat them nice. Still love on them. And let God deal with it. Let God fight that battle. 
Let God fight that battle, and he will. Amen. All you got to just step back, position yourself, get back, and watch God, watch God move, and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. He says, so they rose up early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He would tell you, believe God. Believe in the Lord God, and ye shall be established. Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. Now, believe in the real prophets. God will let you know who's real and who's not real, because there's a whole bunch out there. But God will let you know who's real and who's not real. As I often say many times, for every real prophet God has, the devil got a counterfeit. But God will, you got to have that sharp enough discernment where God will let you know what's real and what's not real. Hallelujah, glory. He said, but listen, O Judah. He said, listen to me. O Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. Ah, glory. God. He said, believe in the Lord your God and ye shall be established. Ye shall be, believe in the prophet and so, so shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness. And they went out before the army and they were saying, praise the Lord for his mercy and do it forever. Praise the Lord. How many of y'all can say that? Praise the Lord because his mercy and do it forever. God, what I'm going through right now, I'm done, Lord. Make up your mind. Uh, no matter what I'm dealing with right now, I'm done. It's in your hands, not my battle. Watch God move. I guarantee you. I ain't got no better sense than belief. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how rough it is. No matter what the situation is. Hallelujah. I believe once you let go and let God and let God fight this better, let him do it. Amen. Believe in the Lord God. So shall you be established. Believe the prophet. So shall you prosper. Amen. He, and begin to give God a prayer. I believe God will move. Hallelujah. Praise God. He'll give you a joy, a glad, glad like you never had before. And you be then you'll be thinking, my God, what took me so long? Why did I let this try to overtake me? And if you if you if you're not careful. Your tests and your trials will overtake you. Things that you go through that will overtake you if you allow it to. If you allow the enemy to put a pity party on you, it will it will take you to a level you'll be trying to scrumble to try to get back to where you need to be. But we got to learn how to speak. We got to learn how to speak to the enemy. Put the word on the devil. Amen. We got to learn how to back it up, devil. Amen. Uh, uh, this battle don't belong. It belongs to the, to the Lord. God's got this. I ain't worrying about this. I'm going on in the Lord. I'm going on to do what God called me to do. I'm going on enjoying Jesus. Because he told me don't worry about it. Holly. He said, don't, he said, don't let your heart be, be worried. Don't, don't let your heart be troubled. He told me not to even be troubled. So I'm not going to trouble about it. Devil. I'm not going to worry about it no more. I'm going to worry about it. The day in the book, stop here. I ain't worrying about it no more. That's it. I'm done. Hallelujah. My son is saved. My daughter is saved. My grandchildren are saved. My great grand say. My siblings are saved. My spouse is saved. My everybody say. They say. <laughs> Could we speak these things in the life? That, that there'll be a change. That God will bring a change in their life. And he will. The word don't lie. If he said he'll do it, he'll do it. If he spoke, he'll bring it to pass. But we got to trust God. He just what he was telling Jehoshaphat. Believe me. And then Jehoshaphat, after they bowed down, began to worship the Lord. He began to tell the people, believe God. Hallelujah. Begin to believe him. Begin to trust him. Praise God. I want you to begin to sing praises unto God. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Praise God. You're walking through the grocery store. God, I just want to say thank you. Ah, God, I just give you praise, oh God. Don't know how I'm going to do, but God, I give you glory. I honor you, Jesus. I thank you for my table being full. I thank you for food in my cabinet. I thank you for clothes on my back. I worship you, oh God, in the beauty of holiness. So now when they begin to sing and praise the Lord, listen, check this. Y'all better listen. My God. I, I don't know, but this thing is good to me. He told them, he said, listen. Now, when they begin to sing, good God Almighty, verse 22. Now, when they begin to sing and to praise, they begin to sing and to praise. They begin to sing and to praise. Give 
people of God, my God from Zion. Praise your way into it. Glory to God. Praise your way into it. Hallelujah. He said, they begin. Praise your way out, prophet. Praise your way out, evangelist. Praise your way out, pastor. Praise your way out, apostle. Praise your way out, bishop. Huh. Praise your way out, preacher. Praise your way out, woman of God. Praise your way out, deacon. Praise your way out, trustee. Praise your way out, mother. Praise your way out, goddess in the ambush. I get your enemy. God, I know this is good to me. But we got to learn how to, this is why the enemy want to shut your mouth. Because praises would shake up heaven. Praise it will stir up God and he'll begin to move some things out of your way. If you want some things move out, you begin to praise God like you done lost your mind. If you begin to have a Holy Ghost spasm, even in the midst of the trials, even in the midst of the test. Yes, it's hard sometimes, praise God, but you got to learn how to squeeze it out. Somebody said a song, said, if I couldn't say a word, I just wave my hand. <laughs> But we got to learn. He said, when they begin to sing, when they begin to praise God, God told me I didn't know. When they begin to do this, the Bible said the Lord set an ambush against the enemy, against the Ammon, against the Moab, and against Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. The enemy is a defeated foe, y'all. Come on now. Praise God. The enemy is a defeated foe. But we got to learn how to get to that point where God will set an ambush on the enemy. <clears throat> Pastor, begin to praise him. Uh, no matter what it looked like, praise him. Sing praises unto God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise God. Sometimes the praise team go in to sing and everybody's so dead. Amen. It's pulling them, but praise anyway. Praise, begin to praise God, hallelujah, with everything that you got. And I tell you, God will begin to destroy some yokes. Glory, begin, oh, my God, Lord, have mercy, praise God. But he said right here, he said, as they begin to sing, and as they begin to praise the Lord, mm, amen, the Bible says that the Lord set an ambush. Don't you know he set an ambush against your enemy? They trying to set a trap for you and he going to turn around and let them fall into their own trap. The same trap that they set for you, they can turn around and fall into their own trap. But we got to learn how not to try to retaliate. It's not your job to fight the battle. It's not your job to retaliate. It's your job to trust God. It's your job to let God fight that behind them. Oh, she caught up a higher. Hallelujah. Y'all, I feel this thing. It feels so good to me. It's not your job to fight it. It's not your job to complain. It's your job to say, God, I thank you. I don't know how you're going to do it, but God, I give you glory. Don't know when you're going to do it, but God, I thank you. Ha! Woo! Don't know when you're going to do it, but I praise you, God, that it's already done. He said that they begin to sing. And they begin to praise the Lord. The Lord set an ambush. Huh. Woo. They fell in their own mess. Glory to God. He said, for the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. God knows. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. They ended the they destroying each other. <laughs> oh, you can't touch God. That's a mighty God. My God, he can do anything but fail. He can bring you out, but I want to tell you today, trust God. God will do it. Stop worrying. Just be happy. Just, Lord, I thank you. You're not going to be able to smile all the time, but you can still throw your hand up. God, he knows what that's all about. Yes, you go through some stuff sometimes. You can't smile, but... I, I can't say a word. I just wave my hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said when they began to pray, he told them, first of all, he said, listen. The, yes, I know. I, can, I see what you're going through, Jehoshaphat. I see what, what they're doing, trying to do. He said, but listen to me. The battle don't belong to you. The battle belongs to the Lord. He said, don't even try to fight your battle. He said, position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The whole of, look at look at the process. Ah, yellow double she color behind. 
He said, listen, he said, don't even try to fight the battle. He said, position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. But what did, what did, what did uh, uh, Jehoshaphat do? He called the people and said, listen, let's, let's bow down and worship him. Let's bow down. Let's begin to give him a praise. Let's, be, let's just give him a praise. Let's, let's just begin to tell him thank you. Let's begin to sing songs unto him. And, and then what happened? There? He said they begin to sing songs and praises. Y'all, this is a process. And they begin to sing songs and praises unto God. What happened? The Lord said an ambush. And that ambush of what happened at the end, amen, they ended up destroying each other. The enemy didn't begin to destroy each other. They got all confused. They began to destroy each other. That's the word. They begin to destroy them. They begin to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made it in of the inhabitants of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. Ah, ah, just by you living, just by you trusting God, just by they trusting God, just by Jehovah listening to what the Lord said when he said the battle don't belong to you. The battle belongs to me. He said, you don't, you ain't got to fight. Don't even try. Don't you ain't got to worry about it. Don't even try to fight. Don't even try to fight. He said, I'm going to fight this battle for you. And when they trust God and they worship God, they praise him, they adore him, they bow down before him, they humble themselves and they begin to praise him right in the middle of their circumstances. When the enemy thought they were going to overtake him, when the enemy came in like a flood, amen, Jehovah knew where to go. He, you got to know where to go when the enemy come in like a flood. The Bible said when the enemy come in like a flood that the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. We got to know where to take our stuff to. We got to know how to go to God. God, this is your battle. This belongs to you, God. This don't belong to me. This is your battle, God. I don't know what to do with it, but God, I just want to do you. God, help me to do you. You fight this battle. I, I put it in your hand, and after putting it, leave it there. Don't take it out, but just leave it right there. And the Bible, the Bible said, my God, as they begin to worship him, as they begin to praise him, well, oh God, he they, he heard from heaven. He heard from heaven. He heard the prayers. He heard the praises. He heard the songs. Woo, holly. He saw the worship, the delicateness that they had. He saw this. And what he do? He said he the, the Bible said he's an ambush. Ha! Ah, y'all, I'm telling you, we got we serve a mighty good God. We serve a God that loves us so much. Do you know how do you really know how much he loves you? He don't want you to have to go through nothing. And if you go through, he's I I'm, I got you. I'm right there with you. I'm not gonna let you go through the storm. I'm not gonna go through the test by yourself. I'm gonna be there. I'm right there. Hallelujah. Never, you're never alone. It was, we just sing, like, never alone. You don't have to worry because we're never alone. He walks beside us. How oh, he's always there all the time. When it seems like the whole world is on your shoulder and you don't know what else to do, tell God thank you. Give it to God. Lord, here. I, I, I just can't take this no more, God. It's in your hands. And leave it there and begin to trust that he's going to move just like he did here for Jehoshaphat. Ah, he said, so when Judah came to a place overlooking the wilderness, they looked toward the multitude and there were dead bodies falling on earth. No one had escaped. The enemy did not escape. The same ones that were trying to destroy Jehovah and Judah, they are the they did not, escape. they ended up killing each other because they're messing with God's people. But let me tell you something. God will take care of his own. My God from Zion. We got to learn how to, don't try to fight your, stop it, stop it, just stop it. Stop trying to fight your battle. The battle don't belong to you, it belongs to God. You see what he did for Jehoshaphat and his people. Don't you know he can do the same for you, if not more. Greater, greater things, greater. There's nobody greater than him. He's an awesome God. He's an on time God. Glory be to God. Trust God. Don't worry. Be happy. John and John, John said, "Look, don't look, don't be troubled, because I, I got a mansion prepared for you. I, I'm, I'm going away. Now. I got to go away. I've got to go away. Hallelujah. Because if I go away, if I don't go away, the comfort's not gonna come. So I've got to go away because I got to prepare a, a mansion for. It. I got a place prepared for you." But but in the meantime, amen, I want you to trust me. I want you to believe me. Hallelujah, glory to God. Know that I'm able. 
to do anything but fail. God can do anything but fail. He can do the impossible. That that seems the impossible man is just right for God. Let it go. Let it go. I don't know what you're going through, what you're dealing with, but look, and 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 we, we begin to look at the news and all this stuff, and it seems like this stuff is really troubling you. Pray for it and let God fight it. God knows all about it. He knows everything's going to happen. There's nothing surprising to God. He knows everything that had happened, but we got to trust God. We got to trust God. Pray and keep it moving. Praise and keep it moving. Serve him and keep it moving. Worship him and keep it moving. Humble yourself and keep it moving. Sing songs of praises and keep it moving. Praise him. Lift up his name and keep it moving. Love on him. Obey God. Be obedient. Stop trying to fight your battle. Stop trying to fight everybody else's battle. <laughs> Y'all know how we are. We always try to fight somebody else's battle. Let God fight that battle. Let God fight the battle. Praise God. Be led by God. Hear God. We got to learn how to hear God. And let God direct our path. He says, stand still. Position yourself. Ah, position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And watch him move on your behalf. Watch him move just in the midst of your circumstances and your situations. Don't let it get so heavy. Don't get so burdened down during this Christmas season that you lose out. You get stressed out. Your blood pressure go up. Your sugar go up and all this other stuff go up. Don't go there. Don't, don't let the enemy take you there. No, it, no, it ain't. No, no, it ain't that serious. Glory be to God. Holly, just enjoy Jesus. Praise God. Don't worry about all this other stuff. I ain't, I, 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 no, just let God do God. Celebrate him for who he is. And we always say that Jesus is the reason for the season. And he is. So why we just can't celebrate him? Just because of who he is. Celebrate, celebrate his birth. Hallelujah. Because he loves us just that much. Pray to God. Celebrate him even loving us enough that we won't even come down here. Ah, glory be to God. Celebrate him. Oh, what are you going to give him? Well, I want this for Christmas, and I want that for Christmas, and I want that for Christmas. What are you going to give Jesus for Christmas? Ah, it's his birthday. Amen. It's, his, it's, it's, it's the day that we've set aside to celebrate him. What are you going to give him on that day? This is the first time in many years I've heard of Christmas being on Sunday. And so many people have decided they're not having church on Sunday. That's a better, they've ever been a, a good time to be in church this Christmas Sunday. They give God praise and just lift him up. Just enjoy Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Have a celebration. Before you open up any gift, before you do it, go and have. And I remember as a little girl, we couldn't do nothing. We couldn't open up no gift. We couldn't do nothing. Amen. Until we prayed. My mama said, you're not going to want no gift. You're not going to do anything until you get before God and before you pray. And we couldn't open up nothing. And I just said, you know, and that, and other, that has been instilled in me for years. He comes first before anything else. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Christmas is on a Sunday, people of God. Hallelujah. Why we can't come together and just worship him together. Hallelujah. It's a special day. Glory be to God. Praise God. You're not going to go. You're not going to have church this Sunday, but you're going to come to church next Sunday. For real? Okay. All right. But anyway, the Christmas, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus is the reason. And see, the thing is, people are going to do what they want to do. Yes, it's supposed to be really, really cold. It really is. But guess what? People do what they want to do. But either or, whether you're in church or whether you're at home, celebrate him. Whether you're watching on, 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 on Zoom or you're watching on virtual or you're watching on YouTube, whatever, celebrate Jesus. Ah, thank him, hallelujah, for dying on the cross and shedding his blood. Glory to God, hallelujah. I just want to encourage you on today. Trust God. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't, don't try to fight your battles no more. Let the devil know the book stops here. I'm done. 
I ain't trying to fight no more. I'm gonna let God fight it. You you can tell you wear out your own your own mind trying to fight your own battle. Your blood pressure go up and all this other stuff, and you start doing all this crazy stuff. Ah no, ah, it's too much. Take up too much energy. God, the battle belongs to you. I need my energy. I need my energy to do the things that you want me to do, not to sit around and worry about this and worry about that. But I trust you, God. This is where we got to get to the point. God, I trust you. I, 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 I'm dependent on you, God. The battle belongs to you, God. I'm going to stand still. I'm going to position myself, and I'm going to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. We love you on today. I pray that, my God, I pray that I said something to encourage your heart. I bless my own self. I bless myself. He, when he began to talk about how they began to sing and worship him and bow down and humble themselves, and they began to worship him and sing songs, and the Lord, and when they, he went before the Lord, set an ambush against the enemy. He'll do the same thing for you. He'll do it for you. He'll set an ambush. Hallelujah. They think they're getting away, but God got the number. Trust me. I, I bless the Lord. I'm excited. Amen. I, I, you can't tell, but I'm excited. Amen. I pray that you have a great, great, great weekend. Amen. And those that are having service, I pray that the Lord will move in a mighty way, that the glory will fill the house like never before, that the praises will go in, look beyond circumstance and situation. Amen. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on God. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right, but stay focused on Jesus and lift up the name of Jesus. Praise God. Don't give no place to the enemy. Praise God. Don't give no place to the enemy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for this word. We thank you for this word. Oh, God, after hearing the word, God, help us to be doers of the word. God, help us to trust you the more. Lord, help us to worry. We bind up worrying, God. We bind up worrying. We bind up stress. We bind up oppression. We bind up suppression. We bind up depression. Oh, God, amongst the people of God, in the name of Jesus. And, and I ask you right now, God, to release. God, I release freedom. I release peace. I release joy and happiness in their lives. And, God, we give you praise and we give you glory, God. They're sick and shut in, the clothes in, the ones that can't get out. But, God, I give you glory, God. Continue to bless. Continue to touch bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus. And, God, we ask you right now, Lord, to continue to have your way. Bless these, your people, the more. And we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. I pray again that I said something to encourage your heart. Have a great weekend. I pray again that every service this weekend, whether in-house or out-of-house or online or whatever, every service that the Lord would move in a mighty way, that, that you would release and, and let go and you would position yourself and stand still and receive the salvation of the Lord. Watch God move on your behalf and he will move. Praise God. Amen. We love you. Praise God, there's nothing you can do about it but love me back. And I pray, I pray for you. Praise God, this is Pastor Bars, amen, representative of God's House of Deliverance and the leadership of Dr. Lillian Spearman. We thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory. And I give you honor. I do. Because he's a good God. He's a good God. Praise God. Y'all continue to pray for me that I continue to stand and do everything, not part of it, but everything that God has commanded me to do. Help me to stand strong and, and teach and preach the word however, however he give it to me. Be safe. This coronavirus is not left. It's in the land. It's worse now than, you know, it's out there. It's, it's the, the numbers are going back up. Stay safe. Stay masked up. Stay sanitized. Social distancing. Continue to continue to pray. Pray ye one for another. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, you and your family. Hallelujah. Love you. Have a great weekend. Until next week, praise God that I'll say goodbye.